Michael Goodson, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? You have uh, quite a few pieces here. You also are preparing. You are preparing a show. That's right. Uh, I have a show uh, October 25th in the Atrium Gallery um, until November 27th. Uh, Where you will show very large uh, portraits. Yeah, very large, six feet by four feet um, on Masonite. Um, they'll be mixed media pieces and very textural. Um, these pieces here are earlier pieces, um, which were sort of the impetus for moving into the, the larger textural pieces. Uh, I um, had been fascinated by a lot of Rembrandt's late self-portraits um, because they were more textured than his earlier work. Uh, so I did a couple of copies from reproductions of his work. Um, the two on the ends are both copies of Rembrandt late self-portraits. These two here? Mm -hmm. And the attempt was to learn uh, the materials, uh, the layering of paint, um, just how he worked. Um, you said that you did a master's in England? That's right, yeah. In London, England in 2011. Um, at uh, City and Guilds of London Art School. And um, this was actually the last piece that I did before going to the Masters. Um, it's done, uh, starting to hopefully approach um, using the same kind of textural um, or physical presence as, as some of the late uh, Rembrandt self-portraits. So was this also part of your dissertation? Um, working on the mass, the, the Rembrandt work? Uh, they were sort of a jumping off point. That was actually a, a sort of a point of contention with, with some of the people in, in the, the crits that I had uh, because they were saying that I was sort of staying too close to the way that he was working. So um, in the dissertation when I was reading and, and uh, writing and exploring um, the ideas about why I was working that way, what drew me to it, and then trying to find materials that would allow me to push what I liked further than what I was doing before, um, making them much more physical. And there's and, one more here. Yeah. That is, uh, it's actually not complete. It's uh, early stages um, of a piece that will probably be worked up in glazes afterwards, more of a um, sort of Caravaggio technique. Which lends itself to a, a, a softer face. These two in the middle are actually paintings of my father. Did he sit for you? Yeah. How long did it take? Uh, to complete the painting? Yes. Uh, month? Probably a month for the one on the right, for this one here. Yeah. Um, but I, it wasn't steady. I mean, I'd work on it for three or four days and then I'd take a couple of days off and then come back to it. So it's when you find, you know... What did he say? The time. Uh, he liked it. Um, it. He certainly looks more serious than he does in, <laughs> in person. Um, but uh, it was, he was willing to, to pose and he's comfortable with me exaggerating uh, the wrinkles and, and that. So he, he doesn't... That doesn't bother him the way it does some of people who've modeled for pieces, so in my pieces. Thank you so much. Oh, and I look forward to meeting you at the atrium. Thank Gallery. you.